I've been wanting to get a large format printer for a long time now, and it's finally here. Welcome back to Awesome Paints. My name is Awesome, and I like to 3D print and paint nerd stuff. Today, we're going to be taking a brief look at the Elegoo Jupiter SE, and I'll show you a couple little test prints I made off of it. I focus mainly on making cool 3D printed projects, so if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe. Elegoo is definitely a reputable brand in the industry, so when I saw they were releasing the most affordable large format printer on the market to date, I knew I had to get this. This was purchased with my own money, but if someone from Elegoo is watching, I'll take a sponsorship because I am very pleased with this purchase. Now keep in mind, especially if you're just starting out, Elegoo also makes medium and small printers that are even more affordable, and pretty much everything you see in this video can be applied to those printers. I bought this from Amazon and it literally arrived the next day. The printer was very safely packaged with loads of styrofoam and plastic wrap. The Jupiter SE is huge. As you can see, I'm barely able to fit it in frame. The build plate on this is about 13 inches, and while it isn't the biggest large format printer out, it's an upgrade in size from my previous printer, which was about 8.9 inches. Quickly going through everything included, we have the resin auto pump feeder, which is definitely a cool feature that very few printers have. In the main box, we have gloves, Allen wrenches and screws, a plastic scraper, an air filter, which is very nice, a good quality metal scraper, flash drive, and then the power adapter, as well as some disposable masks and strainers. To my surprise, the vat is metal and very nice quality, has a cutout for easily pouring out resin, and these metal feet that will elevate the vat when placed on a flat surface, but also act as guiding pins for the vat to sit flush onto the printer. If you plan on getting this printer, you'll definitely need the room for it. Had to reorganize my workstation a bit, but it fits without any issues. This printer has quite a beefy Z-Rail, pre-lubricated, that'll easily handle large prints. Setting up the printer was fairly simple. The instruction pamphlet pretty much walks you through it, and aside from prerequisite knowledge on printer files and processing prints, this is as plug and play as it gets. I'll plug in the air purifier via the screen left USB port. It only turns on during the actual printing process, but I've noticed that it does actually reduce the odor quite a bit. In the settings, I'll raise the print bed all the way up and then back down just to make sure the grease on the Z-Rail is distributed evenly. This build plate has this etched texture on it, which will aid in prints sticking to the surface. For leveling, I'll remove the vat, then lower the build plate to the bottom via the home button function. I might be mistaken, but these printers might come pre-leveled from the factory, but it's just good practice and takes two seconds to level it again. Simply use the included leveling card, lower the build plate with the four screws loosened, and press down on the build plate with your hands while tightening the four screws. You'll know you did this right if you can move the card just a tiny bit while still feeling resistance. Now this is optional, but I have it so I might as well use it, and that's this PTFE lubricant. I'll wipe some on the FEP and let it sit for a bit before wiping it off, and this supposedly helps prints release from the FEP easier. For my first test print, I didn't have an Elegoo bottle of resin, so I couldn't test the auto feeder. As you can see, the vat holds a ton of resin, about 1.5 kilograms if not a little more. I've been printing for a while, so I was confident in printing out this huge Charizard to be my first print, but you might want to just stick with the test chest piece that's included on the flash drive. What surprised me about this printer was how fast it was for its size. 13 hours for this size is very good, as my previous printer would take about 18 hours at max height, and it wasn't nearly as tall as this print. As you can see with my supporting, this turned out perfectly for my first print. I'll remove the entire build plate, loosening the main lever, and use the included scraper to work my way around the print. Once you get underneath the surface, you just gotta slide it around, and usually it'll just pop the entire thing off. My Elegoo resin came in, so I wanted to test the auto feeder. This thing plugs into the USB on the right and will automatically feed resin while printing. I added this little hose as I heard splashing was a little bit of an issue, and while this works great during the feeding, if you use the auto recycle you'll have to remove it since the spout lowers down all the way into the vat. Two screws are included to secure the unit onto the printer. 
For this test print, I'll be using Elugu's Space Gray 8K resin. Simply replace the cap with the printer's fancy feeding cap, plug in the sensor cable, and you should be good to go. Via your settings, you can set the auto feeding speed, or you can suck the resin back into the model through the auto recycle. I started a new print without replacing the old resin, and you can see the new Elugu resin being fed into the vat. I don't mind this being unmixed, but I'll go ahead and mix it to show you guys the feeding is actually working. Here's both my Metagross and Charizard complete with the supports removed. I was able to print the Metagross's legs separately from the main body, so it turned out huge. This is hands down the largest print I've ever done. I did get some minor imperfections, but that was entirely due to insufficient supports, and it can be easily fixed. One thing you have to consider when buying this huge printer is how you're going to actually clean your prints. My old ultrasonic cleaners won't cut it anymore, so I'll have to figure out how to actually clean these things. Anyway, my final thoughts, I love this thing. Yes, there are printers with higher resolution screens, but with what I personally print at this scale, it's a negligible difference. If you plan on printing super finely detailed minis, sure, go ahead and get you a smaller printer with a 12K screen or whatever. But for me, this is perfect and it's the best price printer of this size on the market. If you guys want to see me paint up the Metagross and Charizard, maybe in shiny colors, definitely subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take care.